<laughs> Still ahead. Right. Less. Thanks, Anthony. See you later. In other news, Yahoo confirming tonight that hackers stole usernames and passwords for some of its email users. Canadian accounts are among those affected. Sean O'Shea joining us in studio with what you should be doing. Good evening. Good evening, Leslie. Well, it's not the first time that this type of breach has happened. Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail accounts also hacked at a massive breach back in December. I'm about to tell you what you can do to stay safe. It's one of the worst forms of privacy invasion. Uh, there are 273 million Yahoo emails out there, which is more than a quarter billion, which is a lot. Yahoo email accounts attacked by hackers, their contents exposed, including consumers' financial information. Uh, the impact of an email security breach could be enormous. Yahoo saying password information contained in emails may have been stolen too leaving Yahoo users at risk of losing control of other online accounts, from banking to loyalty cards to just about anything. And this latest breach is not even a surprise to people who work in online security. We've seen this happen before, and I'm positive we'll see it again. It's Yahoo's second attack in two months, in the shadow of a monumental security breach at Target, where millions of consumers' debit and credit card numbers were stolen. But the email breach at Yahoo demonstrates how vulnerable most of us are on public email services. Experts say the best defenses rest with you, not the email provider. Doing that one extra step means for the thousand other accounts that aren't doing that makes them more attractive and you less attractive as a target. He says two things will make your email accounts dramatically more secure. The first, something called two-factor authentication. Uh, where you log in, uh, you, it actually sends an SMS to your phone, you have to put in that code, and it validates it's not just you, but it's you with your phone. It's a free feature most consumers don't use, but one that's available on services like Yahoo and Google. And they say you shouldn't use one email for everything. Set up a separate email account with an address you don't share with family, friends, or business. Keep it strictly for banking information, and as the email account you use to reset other passwords. If someone tries to get into one of your accounts and trigger a reset, it's not going to the email they expect. It's going to a private one that you're not exposing. Now, let's be clear. No system is bulletproof, but think of it as running from a bear. You don't have to be the fastest, just not the slowest person in that pack. The two-step validation process makes a hack much less possible, and keeping a separate email account strictly for the sensitive stuff means you're much less likely to be a target. Leslie. Good to know. Thank you, Sean. Well, it looked as if it would take days, but Toronto Council